Hey guys, Aridania here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my first haul of 2017, which is really exciting. Usually I do a Christmas haul, however, um, it's usually like a book haul, however I only got like one book for Christmas, so it really wasn't worth it. So I actually just went shopping today, so I'm gonna haul everything that I got today. And then at the end will be the books that I got. I think I got, uh, one, two, three, four, I got five books today, so I'm just gonna get right into the haul. So first, um, I went to Garage and I got three shirts. Um, I don't actually ha own a lot of just, like, plain, solid colored shirts, so I got two, I got... I got this one, you know, and they're just like t-shirts, so I got this one, and then I also got a dark black one, so I got that, and then another shirt, I kinda, I saw it, and I just, I had to get it, and it just says, boy, bye, so like, I love it, I think this is gonna be my new favorite shirt to wear. And it's also like really simple and I need, I need more simple, simple nice clothes. So I got that at Garage, um, I went to EB Games and I got another pop vinyl. You guys actually haven't seen my pop vinyl collection in a while. I know with the intro of my videos I have like a few of my Avengers ones on there but it looks completely different now because I actually got so many more. Um, yeah, so the new one that I got, I got Storm from X-Men. She's adorable. She's a bobblehead one. Just got her mohawk. I don't know. I think pop vinyls are the cutest. So I got that one. I, was, I got another pop vinyl, but that one was for my dad. So that was... Um, I went to HMV, and I got uh, Teen Wolf Season uh, 5 Part 2. I actually don't own Part 1 of Season 5 yet. I went there today wanting to get both, and they only had the second part, so I was like, oh, whatever, so I'll get the first part somewhere else, but, so I wanted to continue my collection of all the Teen Wolf, um, the second last store that I went to, because after, after this is the books, I went to Lush, which is, like, one of my all-time favorite stores, I love all their products, so I got the big thing, I got a Rose Argan uh, body conditioner. So this is like, basically, you use it exactly how you would use hair con like hair conditioner, except on your body, and it makes your skin super soft. And the Rose Argan is my favorite one, if I can just... It's like, here, there's some here, it's like this beige color. Mmm, it smells really good. I love it. And it's vegan, so... This is vegan, um, which I love. I also, they have this new thing, it's like tooth tabs, so it's like toothpaste, like, uh, the one I got is called Bling, it's a little dusty, the one I got is called Bling, this is also vegan, and it's like you put one of these tabs in your mouth, and then with like a wet toothbrush you just like, like you would toothpaste. And it's supposed to also be like whitening and yes, yeah, so I thought it was really cool. And I've been wanting to find a vegan toothpaste, so this is kind of I don't know. I'll, I haven't tried them, so I'll try it and see how that works. Uh, I also got uh, some soap. I haven't unpacked it yet. Got some soap. This is called Sexy Peel, so it's like mm, it's very citrusy, and I love it. Um, I don't really want to open it, but, like, for you, I will. Oh, come on. Oops. That was a rip. So, it's just, like, a chunk. It just looks like... It's just orange. Mmm. It's so citrusy, and I love it. And then finally, um, I always, every time I go now, I get, um, their hair bars, so it's like a shampoo, you just lather it and it shampoos for you. Um, so the one that I always get is Honey, I just showered, so they just look like this, you just lather them, 
and so obviously it's super honey um so i always get that one but then this time i found this other one that i want and i think it's called jumping juniper or something like that but it smells so nice it's very this one's very flowery i don't know <clears throat> like it looks kind of like you can kind of see a texture i don't know if you guys can see kind of looks like a little bit smaller than rice but like all together but i love them and they make your hair so soft and smell so good so there's that yes okay so that is what i got from the rush and now we're on to books so I, I got five books i'm into chapters i got five books uh the first one that i got and don't mind okay there was a Whoever decided that it would be a good idea to start putting stickers on books, like, needs to be punished severely. I hate stickers on books. They are completely pointless, and you can never get them off. So I did that trick where you use a uh, nail polish remover, and, like, that worked okay, but I also took some of the color of the book off, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that just looks stupid, so excuse that. But the book that, uh, the first book that I got was Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Uh, I've already seen the movie for this, so I know how it ends, but I really want to read the book because I feel like you'll get a lot, I'll get a lot more in here. And so, uh, I don't know, the movie made me cry so hard, and I absolutely love the movie, so I, I have high hopes for the book. Um, the second, second book that I got, I'm actually so excited to read, and that is Zoo by James Patterson. Um, so I've already seen Zoo, like the TV show, which is going into his third season. I think I binged it in like a few days and it's so good. Guys, watch Zoo. It's so good. So I was like, this is another one that I, um, said that, you know what, I'll watch the show first, but now I just have to read the book. And actually I didn't know when I bought this, but this in the middle, it actually has like little pictures from the show in it. And I was like, oh my God, the show is so good guys so good so i'm really excited to read it um i think this is the second james patterson book that i have i read maximum maximum ride by him before so this is that was all right but like this is this is gonna be really good i'm i'm super pumped for this one uh if you don't know what this i didn't even explain me earl and the dying girl but like you kind of get it from the title but the zoo is basically about um it's basically what if animals started fighting back and what if like like usually like docile animals started attacking people and predator animals started getting more advanced and started working and like all the animals start to work working together to eradicate the world of humans so the show's so good so this is going to be amazing the third book that I got, I'm I'm excited about because if you guys watched uh, uh, my TBR of 2017 that I am reading the Harry Potter series for the first time. Yes, you've heard me right for the first time. Um, my actually, I was waiting for my uh, copy of the Philosopher's Stone to come in the mail, and it did. And I've read it. Uh, spoiler alert, I have read the first two books already. I am like 200 something pages in Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'm really loving it so far. I can't wait to do more discussions about it. So I bought uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. And so this is the original screenplay. And like, it's so pretty. Like, it's got the little. Well, I'm so, like, I'm really excited to read this after Harry Potter. I don't know if I'm going to read it right after Harry Potter, but I will definitely be reading it soon. And it's so pretty. Like, more covers need to be like this. So, I bought Fantastic Beats to read after Harry Potter. Another, okay, the fourth one that I got is tales from the shadow hunter academy by cassandra clare and sarah reese brennan and maureen johnson and robin wasterman so this is um it's kind of like how uh, cassandra did the 
Bane Chronicles. So this is like a collection of short stories, except these take place, like the Bane Chronicles kind of took place in like the past of Magnus, like what he all, uh, what he went through before really meeting Alec, and even then it was like his first date with Alec and stuff like that. So this is from Simon's point of view, as he is going to become a shadow hunter after City of Heavenly Fire, I think was the last book, maybe? I think so, yeah. Yeah, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire. So this all takes place, I think, after City of Heavenly Fire, and I'm super excited. Super, super excited. So this isn't all, this has been out for a while yet, and I just haven't picked it up, but excited. And the last book that I got is um, also, I'm super excited about all of these, is Rogue One uh, by Alexander Freed. So this is basically the novelization of Rogue One. So it's basically, it says, go beyond the film with a novelization featuring new scenes and expanded material. So it's basically the movie, except more. And Rogue One, <laughs> guys, Rogue One, okay, if you've seen it, you know, if you have not seen it, go watch Rogue One, it gives you so much, they're, they're no longer just nameless rebels, as it says in the opening credits of A New Hope, but, so I'm super excited, I want to see more of, like, what happened and like I don't even know whose point of view I'm assuming it's uh, Jin's point of view oh my god what can we start? guys I didn't know where it started I'm just gonna go cry for a little bit. I'll be fine. Oh my god. Yeah, so super excited to read this. Because the movie was brilliant and I can't get over that right now. Okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> so that was my first haul of 2017. I still have to go to Michael's. I got a gift card um, to go there, so I'm super excited, but I haven't had time to go yet. So I just I'll do a Michael's haul, obviously. I'll do an art haul soon as soon as I get a chance to actually buy art supplies. Um, okay, so, uh, what am I gonna say? Okay, so next week will be, um, a book discussion. I will also, next week, every, every year, at the beginning of the year, I do a bookshelf tour, because so much changes throughout the year. So this is, now that I have these books, uh, I am going to, to, uh, I think tomorrow, actually, I am going to uh, rearrange my bookshelf, which is always a process, but, like, I actually, I love doing it, so I'm going to take out all my books and rearrange it, and then I'll film it, and so you guys can actually see my whole pot vinyl collection, which, there's a lot of them. How many are there now? Okay, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I have 35 pop vinyls, so you guys can finally see my collection, and I have not nearly as much bookshelves as I wish I did, so uh, we'll probably, I'll probably have to show you some of them stacks on my floor also until I get more shelves, but so that's going to be next week I'm going to do a bookshelf tour for 2017 so I hope you guys look forward to that because I am um yes yeah, so that's really all to say for this video so please comment what you thought and please subscribe to my channel I put out new videos every Tuesday and I am Ardania and thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.